Sonny Nutter, uh, let's see, I started, my very first ride was in 1964 Del Toro, doing exhibitions on Wednesday night. Uh, riding old JEPs for Jerry Fairchild, and then the, I actually started racing probably around 68 at Whiteman. And then rode, run till seven, 78, you know, everything you had, and Australia, New Zealand, and England, and uh, Israel of all places in 1975. Yeah. And other places in this country also, but that's what I did. And then I couldn't kill myself on bikes, so I thought I'd try midgets and sprint cars, and I did that for another 10 years. And here I am. I'm still going around, man. Everything's good. Tell me about some of the highlights of your career in Speedway. Are the things, the memories that really stand out? Yeah, there's a lot of them. Uh, I was really, uh, I raced at Ascot quite a bit before Speedway. I run flat track, and and TTs and short track and the mile tracks with, with, the, with the BSA Gold Stars and Triumphs and all those kind of bikes. And then Speedway come around and I quit riding all that because I could race five nights a week. I made a living at it and raised a kid and bought a house and did all the stuff that you do. And uh, But I won some good stuff and I got to be American team captain which is real neat when you go to another country and you're wearing the flag, American flag, and you're representing your country. and. That was major, and I've helped a lot of guys. That's also been a lot of fun. Bobby Schwartz was a kid that come along when he was 16 to my shop. Uh, started working there, and, and Scott Savage rode for me for a few years. I had a lot of good riders, and I, I enjoyed helping. And I don't know, I just and I like the people. I have a lot of fans and good stuff. What's your advice to the up and coming riders to get to the level of a world champion, and um, and how would they get there? What, what does it take to get there? A lot of practice, a lot of dedication. It has to be more than just a, it has to be a real passion. I still have a passion. Before I came here today, I put together, I've been working on for a few days, a 59 Triumph Bonneville. I work on vintage motorcycles every day. And my passion is as strong as it was when I started when I was 13 years old in a motorcycle shop. And uh, it's about passion and you got to ride. Bobby Schwartz never stopped riding. He rode, he rode, he rode, he rode, he practiced, he practiced, he practiced. He went to Europe for eight years with Top Notch over there and did a lot of stuff all over the world uh, nobody knows about. And uh, that's what you need to do. You need to practice. What I would do if I was a new guy, I'd probably learn how to ride here, win everything here, and then I'd go to Europe because that's really where the money and the prestige is.